Hi, I am Smita. Smita Subandh. I am an architect by profession. Uh, so since last 35 years, I am into the profession. So the technology and science are the base of my life. So when I heard for the first time about SKM, I was a little cautious, especially coming from my sister who is in Dubai. Many times it so happens that people who go abroad, uh, they immediately get attached to something which they find spiritual. So I was not uh, very sure. But she said they just to do the, the first thing is that you will have to do your aura scanning. So that was the turning point. It actually caught my attention. And I thought, okay, so it will tell me something about what, where do I stand on the health threshold. So after 50, you would rather know more about your health. So that was the first point why I went to SKM. So I went there and they uh, took the aura photograph, they showed me the photograph, then they sent me a detailed report. Now there comes the crux. This detailed report caught my attention because there are certain things like one thing is about my physical body, certain things about my uh, psychological uh, situation. So. I mean, I would say there are some things which even my the closest person, that's my husband, who also does not know. But the report spoke about it. And I was stunned. For a minute, I thought, well, look at this. This does not, this, there is something in it. So then they mm, not only spoke about what is wrong with you, but they actually advised for uh, certain therapies. Then I thought, chalo, ye bhi karke dekh lete hai. So for three months, uh, approximately two and a half, three months, I have been doing certain therapies that they have advised. And then there was this Rishikesh retreat, which was spoken quite largely about. And I always had the visit to Rishikesh in a bucket list. Here I am. The first thing that stuck me was the cord. Suddenly I found that I just love this. I love her. I have seen her in Banaras, but here she is so different. She is so beautiful. And then I fell in love with the place, and nature and everything about this whole place. Uh, coming back to SKM, they took the aura report on the day one, uh, aura photograph on the day one. So naturally I had the previous one and uh, they had this one. So amazingly, there are a lot of improvements. So this is actually why I thought that I'm here, but as the retreat started opening up, they started teaching of us more and more modalities. What I have learned, that time the reasoning was not uh, given so particularly, scientifically, but here in retreat, this is something very different. And uh, people like me, you know, actually there is, people don't know much about this, but at certain age and certain stage in life, People like me who are technically uh, more sound and they would like to understand. Then I heard uh, Dr. Udaisha, he spoke about his lecture. So how and what he did, yeah? how he integrated a lot of technology and a lot of spiritual learnings of ancient India. So that was something really, really different. Nobody has ever spoken about God goddesses and actually put it in, uh, in the, into the science and technology. He speaks about the latest technology, the mobile uh, technology, and he also speaks about the relativity, you know, how it is related to present life. And then he comes to, well, I, I cannot explain these things, but there is something, there are a lot of people like me who would want to get into it. And I think this message would help them get into it. Yeah, so to continue with the different therapies and modalities, one of the therapy, I just thought this is just a fad and it is a lot of money. But like people are using these crystals and there is something amazingly a crystal therapy. So this has some relevance, this other ones have some relevance. What I wear here, I am just trying to see how it works. But up, amazingly, we also had so this is something similar but it acts more on your body as well as your soul.